communes with us and teaches us, amen, as we sit here and go through these times, amen. Um, you know, and I'm talking to my brothers and my sisters. I'm talking to you people that are going to be inheritors of the kingdom of God and truth. Because those that are sitting here, like the word of truth tells us, that are of the world, and many of you spirits that have went of the world, and y'all compromised yourselves, amen, praise God. Know that scripture tells us that those that are of the world, you speak of the world. Us that are of the Lord, we speak of the heavenly things, amen, praise God. We focus on the things from above. We know yesterday is gone. We don't live there no more. We know we've been redeemed. We know that we've been delivered. We know that we've been set free. We know, amen, by the way that we walk and the way that we live in humble humility, we don't have to exalt ourselves. We don't have to sit here and meet the worldly statues. We don't have to sit here and do nothing according to the world, but everything according to the Lord. Amen. And righteous and just, just like my master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, who's blessed forever. Jesus, that, that is seated at the right hand of the Father, um, suffered for righteous and just ways, as in James 5.10 tells us as well, beloved brothers and sisters, to take the prophets as an example of long-suffering. But I know a lot of people, and the reason I'm saying saints is because, you know, the things that we choose to sit here and do, to cause misery and or, or suffering in our own lives, that's not suffering from what's righteous and just. And man, many of you are compromised. Many of you are unstable. Many of you are living in things in 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 uh, yesterday when it, when it's gone, and that's why you're stagnant. It can't move, and you and you try. Many of you, many of you spirits, try to fill that void. And you're not going to be able to. Amen. Praise God. You're never going to get it. Be able to fill that void. If you don't get over it. Let go and let God. Amen. Praise God. Y'all, God wants to heal you. You want to stay sick. God wants to deliver you. You want to sit here and stay in bondage. My, my The Lord of hosts. Wants to see you, wants to show you how beautiful you are and how free you can be. But your carnal mind, spirits, and all you saints that have in your to hear, your carnal mind and your worldly ways that you have trained your flesh, child, keep you in shackles and chains. And it's so sad. To sit here and see a whole lot of people that profess Christ, my master, out of their mouth and are living in more chains and shackles and the bondages for your emotions and your feelings and your desire to please people instead of the Lord. Amen. Our great God Almighty, sovereign and holy is he upright. Amen? As he sets us upright, saints. And you know, it would not matter to me who doesn't like to watch me. Ooh, I could care less. Even here where I'm at my reservation, where this reservation is, where, where it's the Lord's. Everything is of the Lord's, nothing is ours. Amen? If God set us somewhere, it's because he set us somewhere. You know, I send out and posted uh, a sheet yesterday. And I'm going to post them in different places. Because our uh, native brothers and sisters. Don't believe that they are part of the tribe. That, that the blood of Jesus. Uh, of the 12 tribes can't run to them. They're different. They're set apart. Well, the devil is a liar. Amen. Praise God. Because there's only one God. There's only one creator. There's only one Lord of hosts. Is his name, spirits. And he's all our father. So every nation, every tribe, and every tongue are brothers and sisters. Now, that's why he says we sin against God because we will disobey him. And showing love. And speaking truth 
one to another. As scripture says, put off all falsehood. All of it. When we are truly born again, that's why Christ and the true disciples of the Lord could sit here and speak it to everyone because we don't see, we see brothers and sisters. Amen. From every nation, every tribe, and every tongue. And that's why I call everybody. And they look at me like, and I could care less. I had one sister tell me, I'm not your sister. I said, no, you're not. You're right. Right you are. Because not everybody is of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Not everybody's of the Lord. No matter how much you want to sit here, because there's a lot of workers of iniquity that are walking upright, and they, they're in your surroundings. There's a lot of people that are schemers and cheaters. There's a lot of people that are liars that are standing around you, spirits. All of you children of God. And they're causing and trying to cause you to stumble. Amen. Praise God. So that way you can be accursed as well, child. But we that are born again, we're seen through open eyes, as Apostle Paul. Remove the scales from his eyes, did they? And he said, oh, I can see. So we can see. And you spirits, all of you spirits that have an ear to hear, you children of, of the promise, you children of light, you were called to sit here and bring light to the darkness, and as my master Christ exposed the deeds of darkness, tell it to him. You ain't got to say to go, Professor, you tell it to that darkness. God sees you. Because sometimes we have gotten so greedy, we trained the flesh. From generations to generations, our forefathers stood here and sinned against the Almighty. For greedy gain, for selfish desires, for different kinds of ways, saints. That you guys, y'all need to wake up and understand what God is calling us out of the dark to the marvelous light to do a work for Him. Because we're all supposed to be working for Him. We're all supposed to be serving Him in spirit and in truth. Amen? Not compromise, not backing down. You stand there. You stand there and let them say, My Master God reviles for our for us, my master Christ Yeshua Messiah is blessed forever. Jesus glory bless his holy name. He got spit in the face, he got slapped in the face by all those like we like we gonna do. They're gonna talk about us, they're gonna sit here and curse us, they're gonna sit here and do it. Because we're children of life. We're not gonna be bought in the bondage. And even our own families, saints, even your own families are not gonna sit here and not understand why you do not like scripture says. They're gonna Think out of you because you don't you don't roll the way they do no more. You are set apart. Amen. And give glory to God this day that He said found you worthy. Like He found me. That's why I don't mm -mm. all these. Everybody told me, well, you don't ever I got seven of these. This is every, one for every day of the week. I represent the kingdom of God. I represent Christ to show him his shield is blessed forever. I will wear on my sleeve him who died for me to save me. Praise God. And many people, anybody, it's like I tell them, even here in this reservation, you do it the way you want to. Burn sage, the abominations that you're committing. Do they work? I've asked my Muslim brothers that have come talk to me. Well, you know what? If that's what your gospel says, that's fine. But is it working? Are you respecting him who you sit here? Yeah, you serve. And has it set you free? Amen. I let them talk and say all day when they tell me, you know, that's what I like about talking to you because you let me, I'm going to let you speak what you want to say. And then I'm going to sit here and fill your ears with what can save your life, which is Christ. Amen. Praise God. And I can show you, because we're the manifestation, not in word and deed, but in the manifestation of what? The Holy Ghost. To be standing free and walking in the newness of life, renewing our minds and the way we think, the way we act, the way we walk, saints. Amen. We're walking on this highway of holiness. 
that those that are not defiled, no beast, no ravishing wolves, no nothing can come on her, not even the defiled or the unclean. They're not going to understand you, spirits. They're not going to understand you, children of life. They're not going to understand you, children of promise. But you, as the word of God tells us, be ready to tell folks why. Because my master found me worthy to set me free. No more chains, no more shackles, no more bondages, no more words, no more cares, no more concerns, no more weeping, no more nothing. If anything, I weep for people that I see, even unto you churchgoers that say you can go, go to church. That's all you do. You go to church. You don't become the church. You don't want to be tried. You don't want to be, you don't want to be tested. You don't want to, you, you, you still got your hardened heart. You still walk out of there not changed. You pick up the same cloak of perversion and corruption and all that mess, busybodiness when you're walking out that church. When you come to the table, you come as you are, but you leave renewed and changed children. Amen. Nothing else in this world, children, is going to be matter, as Scripture tells you, to be found in faith, without spot and blemish, children, from and of this world. We are in it. We're not of it. And the more that you children continuously and, and foolishly continue practicing these things that are of the world, you are taking on that cloak and becoming of it because you are training your flesh, child, to lust after and desire the things of this world. And instilling them in those children, not the word of God, not to look after the, not to search the way, not to, that's not what you said you can teach your children. And many people have been made, making that mistake, spirits. Many of you have been making that mistake and in stealing in these precious children. And y'all want to spank them up and ground them because they don't meet this worldly statue. And y'all blessed when they get in trouble instead of judgment. Righteous judgment is permissible spirits and it's in the scripture. Amen. So as we go into these times, do not be afraid. I know the, the enemy got crafty so these children can be spoiled rotten the way they are and get away with things. And y'all afraid to sit here and put on uh, their hands. But that doesn't mean to bless them when they get in trouble in school, when they're doing something. No, go to your room and you have no friends. If we can't spank you, we can sit here and do it this way. Amen. There's ways. God's wisdom is wiser than the serpent spirits. Amen. Don't bless your child because he got trouble. Okay, look, I'm gonna get you this, but don't don't go get don't go get in trouble no more because you just taught him how to sit here and do something. How to get away with committing an error. Instead of like us, y'all think you better read some Proverbs one. Amen. Because Proverbs one tells you because God laughs at us. God, the Father of all creation, laughs at all of us, at all the calamity that's befallen us. If we're walking selective, if you are walking disobedient, you know I mean? People are dying because y'all taught these children at Zephaniah 1 4 not to follow after the Lord, but how to idolize and become adulterers unto the Lord. Zephaniah 1 4. You better read it. And he's laying down a lot of you people, a lot of y'all, a lot from one end of the world to the other children. And he tells you this. He tells you this in Scripture. Amen. God corrects the children that he loves. You say it, but are you willing to receive the correction that he's telling you? Stop doing that. Don't be teaching this. And don't be idolizing that. And don't be dressing up, dressing up that tree in Jeremiah 10. Y'all still doing it. And God's slaying y'all. Slaying y'all from one, in, from one nation, one tribe, and one tongue. All from one in the world to the other. All of y'all are dying. 
and you wonder why, and you're crying, Abba Father, and he's not listening to your prayers, it's because you are being just, we, we become disobedient. Oh, ain't nothing happened to me yet. Don't count your chickens before they don't hatch. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Don't count it tomorrow when it has not caught here yet. Amen. Praise God. I see a lot of my brothers and my sisters that are on here. And my brother, my, my, my brother Russ Davis, I bless, I bless the Lord for my brother Russ. And he is a, 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 a Jew by physical appearance. But it's like I counseled with him this morning when he's seen this little piece of paper that I, I sent him to. He says, that's not even biblical. I said, these are descendants. These are descendants of where the remnant of that ten tribes is. You, you ain't got to believe it if you don't want to. But it's, you're not going to be able to tell the Lord, Lord, I didn't know when you're watching this video. And I've been telling you. But because we don't come glorifying ourselves and we don't got a big old immaculate building, that's a building, we the church. We the stones, you're getting more knowledge right now from people that are beggarly out here. You're getting more wisdom from the least of these has God said in his word, will he make more? And y'all are still without understanding, even my own birth family who's still serving Catholicism, they still pray to Mary, and they're going to face judgment for that as well. That is an abomination to the Lord. We don't pray to the Queen of Heaven. She can't do nothing. She's asleep. And her, she's my sister. She ain't holy. God told us, God said in word, what is holy? God sent word through the angels. What is in you is holy. Not Mary. Mary was just a vessel. Just like our parents were vessels for us to be raised up at these end times being blessed by the Lord of hosts. And his mercy to have been given to Christ because nobody can come to him unless it's given to him by the Father. So it don't matter how long you sit in that church. It don't matter how long we have professed the Christ, children. Please hear what I'm saying. If we do not repent and change the way that we are completely from dead to life. When you're dead, you dead, right? When people are laying in that casket, they is dead. There ain't no more thoughts, no more fruit of thoughts, no more wickedness in their heart, no more scheming, no more lying, no more cheating, no more perversity, no more coercion words, no more nothing is there. They're dead. Now, when they got an opportunity to come back to life, new, a white slate clean, and we still have chism of the old within us, are you dead yet? And remember, to be Jews, it ain't got nothing to do as the scripture says in Romans. It's a condition of your heart. Amen. The condition of your heart, saints. So anytime that we're going through something, I see I, I fellowship with the sister and I have to use this as a testimony because it's some of the things that we're going to have to go through and you're going to have to open your mouth and say it. I have a sister yesterday. So she's a believer. She want to be smoking. She said, ooh, brother, I was so sick for, I was very, so weak. I had to sleep and rest. I had emphysema, but she smells like an ashtray. So I'm, I'm going to be that love of a brother like my master Christ Jesus says. If you keep going, your latter end is going to be worse than the beginning. So we have to tell, I have to tell her, you know that scripture says, that those that defile the temple of the Lord, he will destroy. She looks at me and she says, you ain't said nothing much. But if she's going to go home and put that cigarette down, I pray the Father opens her eyes and gives her the strength that she needs to sit here and cleanse her garments because she's filthy. Cussing and carrying on. But you want to say you of the Lord. 
being perverse, being wicked, and, and it doesn't say negotiable right here. It says purchase. Amen? Set apart. Different. Peculiar. Amen? Is that what your forehead say when you're looking into that mirror? Not being perverse and all Jezebels and want to be all a stumbling block to the world. Amen? Think about it. Y'all think about it. Please think about it. Think about your salvation today. God says examine yourself. To see if you are truly in the faith. Faith is a lot more than just saying it out your mouth, child. Amen. All of you spirits that have an ear to hear. And I'm not I'm telling you all this out of the love. Because if you have faith and you say you got faith of a mustard seed, then there should be no problem for nobody to sit here and desire to continue living foul, fifty and disobedience unto the Lord and what he has written. Making his scriptures unto no avail, children. Amen. If faith truly rules your house, child, don't be made to be a liar. If faith truly rules your house, servants, and the king does, then you know that God, God doesn't want you to go out there with the wolves. I'm talking about living in that cloak. And we're not boundless because my faith in Christ tells me, in my belief, spirits, and it should be in yours too, child. If you're professing the faith of Christ and the belief in him, that he overcame everything so that you could. He over he 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 defeated death so you could. Amen. The faith that I have and believe that I have in the Almighty Sovereign God, holy is he. Called us out of the darkness. A filthiness into holy holiness. And to stand there and shine like the star that you are, even without anything physically, because we're built up in the strength of Christ spiritually. And the strength of Christ, you say it, y'all say it, y'all. Y'all got that lip service going on, a whole lot of people, and you see it, saints. I can do all things to Christ that's to strengthen me. Or being busybodies gossiping. Then if you had that strength, you would refrain from doing that, wouldn't you? Drinking like y'all crazy. Glutinous. This tentacle of skin. Only will take what you spirits allow it to have. Because it does not have a mind of its own. That you've given it. And you obey the flesh. And not the spirit. Amen. I love y'all very much. God loves you. I'm not here to sit here, and I want I want you to be standing in the full assurance of your faith without wavering, says the word of God, without wavering. Because if you waver, then your, your foundation is cracked. It's hard to have to tell you. Amen. Re-examine yourselves each day. And when you're sitting here asking God for forgiveness, ask the master of the house, for the strength that you need. So that you won't go back to that. Even more. Ask him to sit here and take those. Those unclean spirits and thoughts and everything from your from your hand. The thing is you got to give it. You got to release it from your hand. You got to release it from your hand child. Stop gripping it. Like I post I posted this morning with something. When you ask God to direct your steps, children, you've got to accept the doors that he closes as his will too. Amen. And a lot of people want to keep their foot in the door. But want to live out here 
Mm-mm. Because God knows what you're doing even behind closed doors. Amen. Even in the deep hidden parts of your heart. And that's why many people can't sit here and get over themselves. Because they're still holding on to themselves. Step out on that water. In full assurance of your faith, saints. Amen. And watch God's hand move upon all things. Let us pray as we sit here and we go about the day. I love y'all so much. And yes, look. Twelve tribes of Israel were prophesied to split apart in were first kings. There's a lot of things I wish we're gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to start. I was gonna start. I told the Lord, you know what? I'm so I get so tired. Just get so tired. I can just imagine how exhausted my master was and the disciples when we were sitting here, and they wouldn't, because God knows the dedication that He put in our hearts. Just like y'all have y'all's dedication to sit here and serve your flesh and your worldly festivities, even behind closed doors. God sees that. Amen. And we're not supposed to do that. And y'all don't make excuses to be able, oh, this is enough. No, no, it's not. Every day is an opportunity when you wake up for you to go profess the Christ and speak the truth. Be a light in the darkness. Every day. Every day. We give, we got a life of giving. We got a life of forgiving. We got a life of doing the will of the Father until he puts his laces down to rest. Amen. Praise God. Because we know when you die, you don't go to heaven. Don't let them preachers tell you, oh, they're heaven. That's a lie. They sleep in that grave with no consciousness. Amen. Because you're going to be surprised who you see in heaven, children. You're going to be surprised who you sit here and see in heaven and who you're not. Amen. But anyway, uh, this was a, a whole lot of the tribes, that the 12 tribes, the descendants of where they're at and what we are called. Because you know the enemy crept in very smoothly, spirits. To separate you and call you by a different name so you wouldn't know who you were. Amen. So only you to tell you be able to tell the Lord, Lord, I didn't know. He's gonna tell you, didn't you see that little piece of paper that I that I sent to my servant to kind of make you aware of who you are from every nation and every tribe and every tongue? And scripture tells you, like the Puerto Ricans in Scripture, God do your idolizing and your Marys and Cubans and all these Hispanics, y'all do that, y'all give more glory to Mary than you do to the Lord. And all of the other ones, even from, from the Levites, Scripture tells us that we're priests of God when all we're to the left with their idle ways and worship. Amen. So we can count, we can tell the Lord, thank you so much for sending this man that, that, that don't know that don't live for the world, that lives for you, as we're all supposed to be, living for the Lord, not for the world. Not living in my pity party, because my, my my mercies were renewed this morning. The, the, the Lord loaded me with benefits, spiritually spirits, not physically. He works out all that. He knows what you need. Amen, because when he gives you the physical benefits, you people lose your mind, just like where I'm at right now. And God's letting them lose their mind. Amen. And all I'm doing is trying to, Tell them to wake them up, but God strives with no man. And he told me, you don't go argue with nobody. You just go do what I ask. That's so I'm going to do what the Lord command me to do. Amen. The Lord rules my house. Amen. No idolatry worship. No uh, paganism. No nothing. Just the Lord. Me, the Father, the Son, and His Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Oh. If you say you got the Holy Spirit of the Lord, the only thing you're going to worship is the Lord. In spirit and in truth. And if you are celebrating, like you say, these worldly festivities where God calls us hypocrites, no matter who you are, amen, from every nation, every tribe, and every tongue, with these pagan worldly traditions, guess what? And you're seeing, that's not spiritual if you could see it. Amen? Because we're believing without seeing. Amen? So if you're doing something and celebrating something, you're saying it's to the glory of God, that's, that it's not, this is ours. Amen? 
let's pray as we sit here we go about this day. I just have to stop and 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 fellowship with my brothers and my sisters. Just you know, sometimes I post these on all over the 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 different social medias, but I'm gonna stop doing that because you know what? Uh, it's getting there's gonna be a time and this time is coming where the word of God is not gonna be the true word of God. It's not gonna be here. And y'all gonna be living your flesh, so I'm 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 advising y'all it'd be your, in your own best interest for you to hunker down and stop following these worldly pastors, preachers, bishops, evangelists, uh, prophets, or whatever that are prophesying you nothing, feeding your flesh, and your spirit is perishing spirit. Amen. You're compromising your own salvation. Amen. Because you know what? One day I'm not gonna be here. And people that are of the God, he's going to take us away and y'all going to be stuck. You remember what I do? Then God's going to give you still an opportunity to repent. But he tells in Revelation, he gave you time to repent, but you'll refuse to. Y'all going to refuse to. At the work of your own hands. Y'all want to be pride puffed up and, and, okay, you go right ahead. Amen. To you serve your judgment, you're going to remember these servants that are out here speaking to you. Amen. Out of love. Not hate. Judge, y'all need to stop. When somebody telling you, oh, hey, hey, you be judge, least you be judge. Oh, sit down. Go sit down with that. Nobody walking you, walking. Nobody, I'm telling you, that God watching you. God knows your heart. God knows your wicked intentions, too. Amen. And I'm here to tell you that. So that way you can say before the Lord of hosts, I didn't know, Father. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Father God. And I bless your holy name each and every day. In spirit and in truth, Father God, in physical all things. You, you, you're, you're who I live for. We were created to worship and honor you with the fruits of our lips, not gossiping, being busy, but none of that as a whole lot of people have not learned to girdle or girdle their tongue and allow you to sit here and work through them, Father God, for desires of the flesh that they have trained. But help us, Father God. Help us all and forgive us as we sit here and move forward to know you, know your heart, Father God, not our heart. You don't say our will be done, but your will be done in our lives, Father God. Purge us, mold us, try us, and uh, perfect us, Father God. Make us those stones that are precious to you, Father in the mighty name of my master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, if you took a ratchet wretch like me, Father God, and brought me up to stand in your victory, because I was defeated, but I'm standing in your victory now, and living in the spirit, and in, in freedom, oh, there of it, thank you, precious Holy Spirit, thank you, Master Christ, for sitting here, finding me worthy, Father God, thank you, Master, thank you, Lord of hosts, great I am, uh, Yahweh, for sitting here, and looking down, and having mercy, on a ratchet wretch like me. I love you more than life itself. We commit this day into your hands, Father God. Go before us, stand beside us, and walk, take up the, the back, Father God, and, and shield us by the shadow of your wing from the pestilence, from the things that roar about day. And fill our day with such contentment and true joy, Father God. Search our hearts, help us examine ourselves, not through deceiving eyes, but through open eyes, Father God. By faith and believe in you, I know that you are working. In my master Christ, you in the mighty name we pray. Amen. I love y'all brothers and sisters. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day.